Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I want to thank our panelists for being with us today. It's really important. This is, a, uh, this is an important topic. I also, uh, thanks to the chair of our full committee, who I know is particularly interested in the issues surrounding hydropower, uh, and, and I appreciate her giving this the attention that it deserves. The benefits of this critical energy source is well known. It's carbon free. It's an abundant baseload electricity source. It's renewables. It's a renewable source, as we know. Uh, but recently I learned that it has another important benefit. According to the National Hydropower Association, hydropower represents about 40% of our nation's, quote, black start capability. Uh, this is an important ability to restart the electric grid unassisted after a major disruption or blackout. Republicans on this committee have serious concerns that these types of events are increasing, largely driven by government policies that are taking reliable, uh, dispatchable power generation uh, like gas and coal off the grid prematurely. The bottom line is we need to preserve the hydropower in this country. Now, it's also well known that the relicensing process for hydropower facilities can cost millions of dollars and take many years. Uh, facing this enormous hurdle, many operators of these facilities may just close them down instead, and, and some have in recent years. Our committee chair, Chair Rogers, has legislation to address this problem, and it's an urgent problem. We simply can't allow it to be compounded until it's too late. So, Mr. Turpin, let me, uh, let me start with you, if I could. You probably know that we had one of your colleagues testify here in the subcommittee last week, the director of the FERC Electric Reliability Office. Um, have you ever consulted with the FERC Electric Reliability Office about grid reliability impacts if we were to decommission a significant number of America's hydropower facilities. Have y'all ever had any discussions about that? It, it's not something that uh, that the office has looked at from a programmatic standpoint, but in individual project reviews, it is something that we look okay. at. Okay. Uh, well, because based on some of the testimony last week, I do have some concerns that FERC, as an agency, is not taking ownership of that responsibility, uh, one of which is ensuring the resiliency and the reliability of our energy grid. So in your opinion, uh, Mr. Turpin, are you concerned at all that if we can't get many of these hydropower projects relicensed in time, this could affect reliability of the grid in some parts of the country? Uh, that is, is actually well outside of my wheelhouse, the focus of... No, it's a really simple question. If we can't get hydropower licensed in time before the grid starts showing more evidence of decay, are you concerned that, uh, that it's going to affect the reliability of the grid in those areas where hydropower is, is produced? I mean, just from a common sense standpoint, I would okay. say Okay, well, thank you. Because this is baseload power with important characteristics that help with grid resiliency after disruptions. Now, I know uh, FERC is the so-called lead agency for the relicensing process, and I know it's not always easy to coordinate and get answers back from all the agencies involved. But in your experience, Mr. Turpin, do other federal agencies like the Army Corps, for example, do you think they understand the importance of keeping our baseload hydropower fleet intact and permitted into the next few decades for reliability reasons? Do you think they understand that? I, yes, sir, I do. Good. And have you or your team ever discussed uh, grid reliability with other federal agencies uh, other than FERC when it comes to permitting the hydroelectric power that our country relies on? Uh, no, not to my knowledge. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, I have some other questions, uh, Mr. Smith. I was going to come to you next uh, for the Army Corps, but it's, it's going to be... Uh, uh, I'll just ask the question in my remaining time. Does the Army Corps consider grid reliability, 
grid reliability when overseeing the relicensing of and continued operation of hydroelectric projects? And do you think Congress would be wise to give you some more flexibility to do that if needed? Please take that question and get us an answer back. My time has expired. I yield back, Mr. Chair. Gentlemen, time's expired and we'll expect that uh, answer to